Hey right guys, Trish Munches Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 9 of This Is Us Season 4, Season 4, which is the mid-season finale to the fourth season, and I'm assuming it's going to be a big dinner date, well not date, but a big dinner uh, between the whole family. We've got Nikki invited, obviously, we've got, I think, Malik's joining, I could be wrong on that one, but we've got, we've got quite a few characters ready for this. this I, I feel like we haven't really seen all the family together. Um, which this episode of I like the separate pairings like Rebecca and uh, Radnall last episode which was quite good but in terms of them all being together haven't really had that this season I think that's a good thing just kind of having them have their own journeys for a little bit um, but yeah I'm excited to assuming see them all together in this episode because they said next week in the last episode that was the dinner and it's the mid-season finale and when are you going to get like a big you know <laughs> this is us you know this is us is like those mid-season finales and having them all together in the same room is probably prime time to do that so yeah episode nine guys if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the early and uncut reactions to this is us then link to the patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below by the time this one's on youtube patreon should be probably on the final season or very close to the final season but it'll let you know exactly which episode down below, but for now, let's do this. Uh, we're starting with the of dad. Snicky. It's okay. Imagine. Where were you? I told you, stay in damn prison. You don't need another drink. The fact that it hasn't changed for them in like. Too much thankfulness going on. Would that be 15 years huh. later? And just ditch Thanksgiving? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Can't even blame him. Feel bad for the mom, but. Wow, well, look at you. You look sharp. Look like I'm in a Viagra commercial. <laughs> you do not. You look very, um, you know, newly sober chic. I'm sure you can still get it up, Nikki. Don't be harsh on yourself. Spread. I'm not talking about clean pants, you nitwit. It's like coming to your brothers for Thanksgiving, <coughs> you know, with your whole family. Nikki, everyone's really excited to see yeah. you. I don't, I don't even think anyone's mentioned him. Even though they should, because he's a king. I say that and he still blow up an innocent kid. I say you know you've done well. Well, you can have a character who literally murdered a kid <laughs> and is still a good character. Hey, why are we setting up a card table in the foyer? Because our dining table only seats eight and we're expecting 13 guests. 13? <sighs> Long lost uncles. Yeah. Just lean in, babe. Yeah. One, two, three. No, no, I can't. I'll see when they're all there. Rebecca, Miguel, Randall, Beth, Annie, Deja, Tess. Kate, Toby, Kevin, Nikki, Deja's mom. Who are we missing? Is Malik coming? Okay, so I'm gonna go set up the VCR for Police Academy 3. Let you guys have an opportunity to talk. I was gonna say you're gonna do Police Academy 3 again, but I do Home Alone every Christmas, so I can't. I got all the traditional staples. Yeah. The salt teens, the hot dogs, craft singles. I know it's like the most generic Christmas film ever, but... <laughs> Home Alone's a bang. You're getting the cold shoulder, mate. These two always don't seem to get along in thanks on Thanksgiving. I didn't mean to overstep last night. I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 He's apologized. Try and put last night behind us. I know. Never apologized, no. But at some point, we need to talk about what's going on with you. If we do this. Okay, I need some space. I need to get out of here for a minute. I get her not being ready to talk about it, and Randall very much wants to talk about everything. So I get that. Um appreciate it if you kept this little argument of ours between us but then like randall's your son of course he's going to be worried about her so it's one of those i, I get both the sides with it my crossfit <laughs> group text is going crazy for jack's first solid food video they love it buddy huh <laughs> and, uh, and the insta totally. is, is like blowing up the likes just keep <laughs> rolling in. so i love him <laughs> Uh, Toby, I have to tell you something. Okay. Jack's first avocado was actually at Gregory's house when you. Oh, were we're telling him straight away. What? Good. Yeah, he just. He well, wasn't going to be like the big reveal at the end of the end. Went... Thinking back on it now, it seems kind of humiliating. Okay. Toby, I'm home He's alone all to day with Jack. About it. Okay, and things are going to happen. He was looking forward to that. So, what if he takes his, his first steps when you're at CrossFit? What am I going to do? Should I should I just knock him down? Yeah, okay. No, it's <laughs> my fault that you fed point. him an avocado and then lied to me about it because I was at the gym. Uh, no, I wouldn't agree with that one, Toby. She wasn't saying that. She's saying you're out way more, which is a fact. Nothing wrong with that. 
You know, it's okay. It's okay. We're all t we're all tired. That's probably why I am overreacting to yes, to be avocado gate here. Look at that! Just like acceptance in the space of one minute, and ready to move on. King, he could have had been Marty about that for like half the app, and he chose not to be. Best character vibes. Don't even at me. Watch him like completely flip off through the app. Like, I'm, I'm pretending I'm okay, Kay. I'm really upset. I mean, he can still be upset about it, but <laughs> because Dad loves the Cowboys. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was Rebecca. I thought he was having a cheat with Rebecca. Oh, How much did you bet, anyhow? Mm, Johnny gave you points. Happy Thanksgiving. Wow. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> How much money is that? It's a lot. <laughs> that one dollar bills. So I don't know about that. I saw that bridge. Was that one dollar bills? Nick is like, damn, Jack was dilfy. Happy Thanksgiving. What happened to your face? Eh, yeah, fly ball to the face. Yeah. Little Nicky just go Nikki, observing all the pictures. You look amazing. Yeah. Kevin queer eyed you, huh? I don't know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> I actually know what that means. Uncle Kevin! Think I could ride along? You, they're going to Jersey. I don't mind. Gives me time to get to know Russell. Randall. <laughs> See? <laughs> I think that was a Nicky joke. Annie, you drive. I don't believe he actually didn't know that his name was Randall. <laughs> Russell. Oh, Kevin's worried about mom? him. It's not my niece's beautiful smile. What's wrong? Tell me. <laughs> Testify. I like Tess and uh, Kevin. Tess. I don't. Post the pic of your number one celebrity crush. Huh. So what's going on? I haven't come out at school yet. So a celebrity so crush is gonna be. I could post nothing and be left out, mm, or I can post the truth. I have a crush on Zendaya. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> That's even better than I would have said here. My celeb crush is Toby. <laughs> Just Toby all around. That was Beth. Uh, what am I? I'm, I'm Beth. Jabbly. To Toby, I'm Beth. Aw, Max. Yeah, we'll put it that. You're early. Tater time. Oh. Mm, my Seems to be in God, good spirits. You're so grown. Hey, you're we got so say gross then. I was like, oh, right, well, I'll just you look never mind, I guess. William? Rebecca goes senile. Excuse me, William, it's. Can I help you with something? Uh, you just. Sorry, I thought. Well, sorry to disappoint. He's got nice eyes. Are, are you alright? No, she's senile, my friend. I am, I'm just not from around here. Well, there is a nice grocery store around the corner. Mm. Fresh made whipped cream cakes. Yes. I wonder what Mandy yes. Moore's gonna look like That's when she's actually this age. Thank you very like much. That. Oh, he's cute. Damn. You're acting like that old homeless woman who bimbles about randomly and shows and like help me. She's like one of those characters now. That's what it's gonna that's what she's gonna become. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. You realize this is five pounds of shrimp. Oh, we realize. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> this is a Thanksgiving dinner, huh? Why was the guy like, you do realise this is... A... You have it on the menu. They realise that. You do realise this is... Whiskey business. You get it? What? Come on. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> You're too young. Oh, oh, Deja, come here, come oh. here. You want me to come out to the... The drive through speaker, yeah. But yeah. how, how's that? No pressure, though, okay? No pressure. How's Only that dialogue want. gonna work, Kevin? But, I mean, think about it, right? What could be less scary than coming out to a, a, a plastic clown head? Here we go. I'm Tess Pearson, and I'm gay. Damn. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> you want fries or onion rings with uh, Fries, please. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's proud. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, my so gosh. Big, Peaky fucking so blinders. Beautiful. I'm in the peaky oh, fucking blinders. I'm told me I'm down. The... Big Mick 45. You should find me. I can't believe they left that house. I was just looking at it. What are you doing? I got one. Wait, you're Grandpa Jack's brother, right? I knew he never talked about me that much, but I don't know. Uh, fair Hello? Enough, yeah. 
Ah, you must be Randall. I am. Come on in. Thank you. Well, not even a dog, I guess. Yeah, Everything is different. Bit. They did ask a little more. I what you done with the place. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Could you tell me where the bakery is? Yeah, it's just straight down there past the checkout aisles. You can't miss it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You just brought a guy in, Rebecca. Look at him. He says bakery! When he said you can't miss it, he meant you cannot miss it. I know she's going senile, but what? Oh my god, yo, she's losing it. I mean, we know she lives for a while, so it's not like I'm worried that she's going to die in the next airport or something, but... So she pretty. forgot why she's here. Fuck. That'll be sixteen oh five. I left my wallet. Bottomless purses. I sixteen oh five. But you can never find anything in them. Oh, dollars are in it. What'd you leave? <sighs> oh, that's why she was worrying so much when she lost her phone, because she felt like she could have left it maybe somewhere other than. Come meet my trainer, KJ. We'll get you on a meal plan. You'll lose five pounds. Bang. Like that. Yeah. What? You okay? Mm -hmm. Is it Jim out? Lean to it. You tell me your evil feeling, and I'll tell you mine. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's be evil together. What's Beth's evil plan? I hate that Shauna's doing so well. Ooh, pretty evil, pretty evil. Okay, that is bad. I know, I know. Okay, I said my terrible thing. You say yours. Go. You wish Toby was still fat. Ooh, I hate CrossFit Toby. I don't. <laughs> I do. We stun CrossFit Toby. I hate Toby. his food charts. And then he goes and loses the weight, which is amazing. Yeah. But all I can think is, he did it without me. But when were you trying? No effect. Like when was she trying? He was like, yeah, you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna get shit done. He got shit done. There's been scenes where she tried, but I feel like she gives up within two episodes. <laughs> the window, my Let it come. Oh man, my dad used to love this song. Like so long, Marianne. Loved listening ah, to it. Ah, name of the app. Loved explaining it to us even more. Oh. I gotta change this. So the, no, 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 leave it. The song started here. Leonard Cohen, he's a poet. I think if I wanted a poem, I'd read a book. Oh, he would have explained the story listen, to Jack. He's singing about yeah, there we go. the love of his life. Interesting. He's sending her away and calling her back in the same breath. And cry, and cry, and I don't know how that's making him feel, is he? About it all again. I... Nikki. I hope she went back to him and they laughed together again. No! Something my dad would always say whenever he listened to us. Uh, uh, no. Can we uh, make a quick stop on the way home? Sure. So I don't know. I feel like maybe he, maybe a bit of happiness that he passed that story down at least. So something that Nikki had and told that was passed down. I think that's how it's feeling. I don't know his number though. Oh, yeah. I can't have his number is in my phone, and I need my phone to call him. I need to call my son. Oh dear. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Talk to you for a minute. Yeah, of course. Here Just give me one second. I need to put the fat back on. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, Kate. <laughs> oh, I'm proud of him. <laughs> Oh, Dage, I'm a diehard Eagles fan. I bleed green and white. Since when? And then Beth's going to eat her evilness and offer them, I don't know, some tomatoes. Uh, Nikki, this is Shauna. She's our uh, adopted daughter's biological mother. <laughs> yep. Okay. <Yeah. laughs> That's, this um, is a I need a platter. An upside down cake? That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Oh, jeez. Hey, guys. I feel like this app's going to, like, blow up by the, at the end. Hey, Mom. Uh, you kind of haven't really turned any of the back text, okay. and now your phone's off. Hey. Yeah, what bothered Deja about that? We're going to sit down to dinner as soon as Rebecca gets back. Cool. She loves her new job, and she has a whole bunch of friends. Is it because she's living she her life? She has a new apartment. That she's doing well? Sounds, why couldn't she? 
Oh, like, it's been like this when she was around, but now she's doing well but by herself, kind of thing, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was something, like, specific that she'd said. Tell me the story about that video. My mama wasn't raising me right, and how maybe if she knew how to cook, she'd be able to keep a man around. Ooh, Mrs. Henderson, right? <laughs> we don't, we don't like Mrs. Henderson. Don't let yourself forget all the times you had with her when she was yes. absolutely perfect. See, she could have she could have laid in on her I forgot her name. Deja's mum. You're a long way from Los Angeles. Oh. I'm out here visiting family. What do you We always get together for special occasions. Are they taking her back to LA? Oh my god, bro, what are you doing? You're just driving her to LA. I know they're taking her to her address. Oh my god. He's in the kitchen fixing something to add to our dinner. Yeah. Being very secretive about it. It's cute. He is cute. Yeah. It is cute. I agree. But why would she go off by herself on Thanksgiving? She must have really wanted to see that new De Niro movie. New De Niro movie. Well, would this be 20? So I'm going to go with The Irishman. But that one have been at the cinema and is on Netflix, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh... Nikki, yes. Well, I've learned that uh, traditions inspired by Jack Pearson are sort of the backbone of this shindig. So uh, yeah, you got that. You got that. So uh, here I'm goes. To Toby. Uh, Thanksgivings growing up weren't, you know, jolly like this. Oh, I love him. It. It's actually the best Thanksgiving ever. Okay, so then. Yeah, again next I don't know year. about which competition. Oh, that was the last good Thanksgiving he had. And the only good one. Up to this point that he's at now. Here is five pounds of Thanksgiving shrimp. <laughs> ah. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's for Jack. <laughs> My brother. And, uh... You know, Tanu... Uh, family tradition, so. Jeez. Uh. Those hot dogs are ah, nice. I know. Our baby and I need to eat them stat. Have some shrimp. There's five pounds. <laughs> that's, uh, that's so cool. That's so cool. I think it's time for you to get back to LA. Live your own life. I'm going to be just fine, Kevin. Oh, and if I need you. Do. you I'll call you. If you need me, Big call me. This season. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes, she did it. She did it. What? Don't let her bring you down. Oh, bro. Yeah, huh? Yeah, we don't want to miss this. He's gonna melt down. Yeah. Full meltdown okay, here. Okay, okay, ready? The comments. That's read what's up. Hey, this is great. We didn't read any this comments. Is, is great. I sense no. joy here. Yes. <laughs> I can use some more. Yeah, you can. Oh, I love that you check with Tess. Came out on Instagram today. What? Yeah. <laughs> you have a sense of a family, so. I liked it. You know? I liked it, so I think, um... You haven't felt the sense of family since I think that's what's next for me. I don't yeah. think that's what you meant. But... For sure. Absolutely. By the time I'm 40, I'm gonna have a wife, I'm gonna right. have a kid, the whole shebang. He's getting worried now. Alright, ma'am, you're home. No, Everything's you're not. Okay. You're some random... You're the cabin? The cabin? I'm you know, calling nonstop. I'm sorry. I I went out Wait, to try what? and get you a birthday cake to surprise you, and then I got all turned around. I hope I didn't ruin your whole party. No. Why no, though? Are you fucking with my mind? Thank you. Oh, okay. She's back. not completely seen that yet. Of course, I came back. This show, bro. What the, the movie was fuck? Turned off my cell phone for the movie. I must have forgotten to turn it back on. Mm, this, Sorry. yeah, you're very good. You're very I smart. This is always what the fuck. Oh, no. 
Oh, how's she doing back there? Uh, she's laying down. She's a little nauseous. My fiance's got morning sickness at yes. all hours of the day. Who? Oh, Who's your fiance? Ginger tea. That always worked for me. Yeah? We've rarely got a fiance in nine Good months. Tea. It's not going to be Zoe. I want to say it's Sophie. But it's probably Cassidy. Randall here yet? No, Mom. Randall's not coming. Why? We're not speaking, remember? Why, though? You just can't drop that and then not tell me shit. I was halfway through the trailer of Cats. <laughs> when I couldn't remember what movie I went to go see. That's fair though, that, that trailer will do that to you. I think I need to see a doctor. There we go, good. Lesson learned, the film okay. Cats will make you senile. At least she's admitted that. I just don't know if Randall knows. Is that it? This show. Uh, that is like the best episode of the season. I'm just going to check. I think that's the best episode since Songbird Part 1. They always did this show and then mid season finales. They always do something to keep you engaged in it all the time. Like, I'm always engaged in the show. I mean, you've seen the reactions, I'd assume. Like, you know, I'm engaged in the show all the time. But I feel like. Every mid-season, they know how to just throw on more questions that keeps you wanting to come back. But it's not done in like a bullshit where, it, where it's like, oh, you just added more bullshit on kind of thing. It's like, no, we're good. Because they give you answers and then resolve certain development. Like, Nicky's had his entire character development so far this season. It's been amazing. And now it's like, uh, oh, Kevin's fiance is in the other room. Kevin and Randall aren't talking. Everything that Rebecca happened to Rebecca this episode was nine months from now. Oh my god, it's just like, what the fuck? So, yeah, the first really great episode of this season was three, then eight, then this is this is better than both those episodes, so this is the best episode far at this season. I think, looking at season three, yeah, Songbird Part 1 was a nine. I'd say, and then, Oh no, we did have Our Little Island Girl, which was Beth's whole backstory. I love that episode, so... Yeah, they, those two episodes were sound, and then season two you're getting into territories which you might not be able to stand up against. A lot of eights, a lot of eights, a lot of eights, 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 eight, 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 ten, eight, 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 seven, eight, eight, yeah, it's a lot, mostly eights in season two, but one ten in there as well. Yeah, rating-wise, I'm, I'm just spoiled, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a nine out of ten, this one, just so I know where it stands, but I don't have any flaws with it, I think every character had something that they brought to the table. Anyone? No? Okay, I thought it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'd say every character did did well this episode. Toby, being a king, I love that. I love Kate. Kate is that was actually very good this episode as well because she was voicing like things that were annoying her about Toby. Well, not annoying her, but just. I don't know. I don't know what the right word would be because it's not like she's getting she's getting annoyed at some things that he's doing. But I think the thing of her saying like they were meant to lose the weight together, that bit I can like look at and go, yeah, that makes sense. Like you'd want to lose the weight together. My only thing was that Kate never felt like she really. I think there was one season, like one story, on where she felt like she was trying to lose the weight, and I know she's had a kid and stuff. And the kid's disabled as well, so it's going to be like require two times or more than that the amount of attention than you typically need for a kid. So I understand that she's not had the time uh, since having the kid. But even before then, it felt like she didn't really want to lose the weight. So not that she didn't want to; it's just that she didn't put in as much effort as I think Toby did. Because so I think there was there was was it season two or something where she was doing the same workouts as Toby. And she was saying, like, I'm putting in the same amount of effort as you, but you're losing the weight and I'm not. Toby felt like he continued that journey and Kate kind of stopped. But at the same time, I still understand her being kind of like, oh, we didn't lose the weight together, so that's having an effect on her. So that 100% makes sense. But at the same time, I'm also glad that she didn't bring that up as, like, this huge issue to Toby. Like, there was a bit where she sat down and she's, like, ready to tell him all this and she just said, 
happy Thanksgiving because I think she just saw like how happy he was. Like he's happy having lost all the weight and looking the way he does and all that. And I think she, you know, looked at that, saw that, and was like, it, you know, he's happy. He's great with um, a Jack Junior, which is still a terrible name. Uh, <laughs> and that's kind of what I think matters to her. So yeah, uh, Kate was I thought was going to bother me for a second, but. She was actually really good. Also, shout out to Toby for dropping the him, the kid having ate, ate the avocado. He dropped that very quickly, which I like. He kind of was there a bit like, oh, that shit. <laughs> was sad about it for a minute, and then he was like, okay, well, we've got his first Thanksgiving and stuff, so love Toby for that. And Kate was really good. Uh, Tess and Kevin, I think they those two bond together very well. They always have since season one. They've had a few scenes here and there, and they kind of have a couple of scenes each season, but it's enough to make you feel like Kevin and Tess do have a good kind of family bond and her, him kind of helping her come out like give, you know telling her oh why don't you just come out this random stranger that you're not even going to see see how that goes she did that and then that kind of helped her find the courage i guess to do it on instagram and to people that she knows and stuff so uh i thought that was yeah the, those two bonds really good and kevin's been amazing this season so it's good to see him kind of step aside from nikki for this episode for a bit and focus on tess uh, which I thought was decent. Talk Nikki, amazing. This episode kind of having the flashbacks with him and Jack and him I'm just shitty Thanksgiving after shitty Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then he has a, his best and only good one uh, with Jack. And then, you know, years later, he finally has another good one with the whole family um, and his tradition of the shrimp. And yeah, Nikki's come a long way since season three where he won when they all came to his caravan. He was like, get out, don't want anything to do with you. Kevin came back and kind of bought him out of that. So um and I love when he took Ke touched Kevin's cheek. He's like, uh, proud little. Oh, that little. Yeah, those, those two bonds a bond again. Kevin's just bonding with everyone, like <laughs> right, Randall said. Um, Beth and her scene with Deja, like I said, I think there was a moment where she could have really shut on uh, Deja's mum a little bit, but she she chose not to. Not that, not you know, going in on her or anything, but she was like, yeah, I know there's, you know, she's living her life and she's got all this fireplace and stuff, but think of all the like perfect memories you still have of her and stuff so she kind of let Deja have that which I thought was good of Beth to do even after having Hera say what was on her mind with Kate um, earlier as well and then Rebecca well again they get you with the they know what they're doing with the structure of episodes the whole time you're thinking oh okay she's, she's on the day starting to lose her mind and she's been sent back to LA or whatever but no the, everything we saw with Rebecca from when she left the house was nine months from now so you have that and then on top of that as well you have questions like say with like what's going on with, between kevin and randall and who's kevin's fiance like say definitely not going to be zoe that'll make zero sense um i think it's probably going to be cassidy no because cassidy cassidy got back with, well it, we don't know that it kind of looked like they were talking again so I'm, and that was Cassidy's journey was to get back with her husband. So my bet's Sophie. But then I'm also like, if we played the Sophie comes back into the show card too many times at this point, and we know that she is getting married as well, so it has to be a new character. No? Who could it be? Uh, let's go through the character. There's no one, really. No, I don't know. I, it has. Uh, it's not. Don't be Cassidy. No, oh, Madison. There is Madison. On the guest stars. No, they don't even get on, do they? I think they, they've not even spoken. I don't know. We'll see. But it could just be a new character, which I think would be kind of a shame. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, like I say, nine out of ten for this episode. Loved it. Pff, I don't know. This season. We still have all the questions as well. Like, what happened with Kate and. Her boyfriend in the past, whatever his name is. So many questions at the moment. Will any be answered? Probably not. Not until the end of the season. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below in the comments. And if you want the early and uncut reactions to this as well, send link to the Patreon page will be in the description and one of the comments down below. And I'll see you next time for episode 10. Until then, take care. Peace.